In our last session, we learned about germination. We also sowed seeds in our little tiny pots and observed how seeds break open and grow into new plants. Today, we will learn more about plants. From being small tiny plants, they grow into big trees. In order to grow into big trees, they need to feed, right? Much like how we need to eat. And just like how your mama cooks all the healthy food in the kitchen to feed you, so you grow big and stronger, the plants also need to prepare their own food so they can grow into strong, big trees. And this process by which plants prepare their own food is called photosynthesis. The food for the plant is prepared by the green leaves. The green leaves are like the kitchens for the plants. This is important, children. Remember, when your mama prepares food, we say she is cooking or baking. But when the plant leaves prepare their food, it's called photosynthesis. 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 Photosynthesis takes place not on the leaves, but deep inside the leaves. The leaf kitchen is not like ours. It's very different. It has a magic ingredient called chlorophyll. Let's say that one more time. Chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is green in color and that's why the leaves look green. I told you, the leaf kitchen is deep inside the leaf. To see what happens deep inside the leaf, we have to go through a special door on the leaf that opens and closes. That door is very, very tiny. We cannot even see it. To go through that door, we have to become even more tiny, tinier than the ants. Shrink, like the ant man. You ready, children? Let's go tiny. Now, we can fly through the leaf. Look at that. That's how a leaf looks up close under a microscope. The holes you see there, the tiny doors, they are called stomata. The carbon dioxide gas and oxygen use that door to go in and out of the leaf. Can you see that? That's how they work. Now, if you want to see inside the leaf kitchen, we have to fly through that door, the stomata. Let's go. This is how it looks inside the leaf children. These structures you see are the leaf cells. Let's travel through a leaf cell because that's where the leaf kitchen is. The leaf cell also has a lot of different parts inside. But for now, let's get through to where photosynthesis takes place. Now, that is the chloroplast. Let's go. And inside of this chloroplast are small packet-like structures that contain the chlorophyll. Here we are children, the leaf kitchen where photosynthesis takes place. Let's go back outside and see how the different ingredients come into the plant.
water and minerals are absorbed from the soil through the roots. Air from outside mixed with carbon dioxide comes in through the stomata. They are like packets, right? And inside them is the magic ingredient, the green colored chlorophyll. The sunlight comes in through the leaf. The green colored chlorophyll can trap the sunlight and use it to prepare the food for the plants. Photosynthesis starts when water, minerals, carbon dioxide and the magic ingredient chlorophyll come together in the presence of sunlight. The food prepared by photosynthesis is sent to different parts of the plant through the tiny tracks within the plant. As the photosynthesis takes place, oxygen is given out. The plants take the carbon dioxide that we breathe out and give us oxygen to breathe in. The oxygen that we breathe every second to stay alive is given by the plants. Isn't that amazing? This process of photosynthesis happens through the day as long as the sunlight is around. And during the night, the leaves rest. And when the sun comes back up in the morning, the chlorophyll also wakes up and absorbs the light and photosynthesis begins again. Without the plants and trees, we would have no oxygen to breathe. There would not be life on this planet. We have to plant more trees and stop cutting down trees for our needs. The plants give us life. Our lives depend on them and we need to take care of them.